Do you have a plan on how to engage the parents of those students? Absolutely. Uh, Can you share that a sure. little bit? Uh, two things. One, I'll just, I'll try not to go too long with the answer so we can get a lot of questions. But um, in, in just rolling out this survey and asking parents to give us their feedback, um, again, that's part of that change in, in culture, is making sure schools are very open and encouraging to parents to fill out the survey and not just to put it on their marquee and say, come fill it out if you have a chance, uh, but actually to send it out and send reminders and all this. You know, when you send things in elementary folders and binders, it usually gets done, right? Um, and so we were very deliberate about that, and we had it in, in all the different languages, uh, Vietnamese, Spanish, and English, in, in our district. Uh, we had access on paper uh, and, and electronic to encourage parents to fill that survey out. And another kind of part that was, that was very, uh, I think, a, a highlight for us is that we had a large number of surveys that were filled out in Spanish, which tells us that we're hitting the, the, the target that we want to hit in terms of the population and parts of town and things like that, that we were, quite frankly, concerned about whether anybody was going to really engage and fill it out in, in, in certain parts of town. So that was a very, I think, a point in the right direction. Um, the other, to answer the second part of your, of your question about engaging parents, um, we're developing a parent university so that our parents can take courses, whether online or on-site, and I won't go into too much detail, you can ask me later if you want, but, uh, uh, so that they can take courses, and we're very specific and deliberate about the type of training we're doing with parents is to help them help their children meet their learning objectives. And the <coughs> culture change also. We're not. Yes, we want people to volunteer and to you know come to the lounge and all this kind of stuff. I, I'm not by any means downplaying that. But what's more significant is to have parents help their kids meet learning objectives. And and you, and sometimes when I say that in the community, the first thought is, um, well, what about for all the other parents? And 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 my my response to that is this is not for certain parents. This whole meeting of learning objectives is for all parents. I'll give you an example. If you don't know what AP or IB or GPA or ninth grade credits are, that's, that cuts across. I don't care what economically disadvantaged levels you are or not. That cuts across everything. And if and in our in our case in Texas, uh, the the new House Bill Five, which is just unique to us, so it's changing all the graduation requirements. Well, guess what? That's not something that people readily know because the adults in the system don't know. You know, and so. Um, so I'm, I'm very kind of, I make sure I explain that, that when we talk about helping parents meet their, helping parents help their kids meet their learning objectives, it's not for certain parents, it's for all parents. Because there's, there's skills and things and information in our system that every parent should know about college and college acceptance and taking a higher level coursework and career development and things like that. And there are things about literacy that not everybody needs, but that some parents need about how to help their kids. I learned to read things like that. Good question.